Hey guys, Casual Chrono here. I was working on another video and I kind of came up with a question that I wanted to answer. So I figured I'd make a video testing it. The Jasmine Another Dungeon, the most recent one as of this recording date, the two key green dungeon, has some new grass stuff for sale. And it ha also uh, drops a bunch of new ores. And basically my question is, is this new Grasta going to be better than the typical pain or poison Grasta that we give our DPS? So what am I talking about exactly? Once I find it in this massive unorganized list, I wonder if I could just search by, can I do crystal? Um... Actually, it's not upgraded. Power of Prism. Yes, it does show up. All right. So there's power of, and then insert your favorite element here. For Crystal, it's Prism. These are for sale in Jasmine, the another dungeon for 180 um, bloom seeds. I think they're bloom seeds. The bloom things that you can collect. And by default, it improves crystal type attack by 30% and damage when your hit points are at maximum by 10%. If you use a dormant ore on these Grasta, the crystal type attack goes up to 40%. So 10% boost just to the crystal portion of the damage. Now, I'm not a math expert with this game. There's a bunch of other ores available. Uh, so for example, if I upgraded with the resonant power shadow, if I have four shadow allies, I'm assuming it's four uh, is the max, all damage goes up by 12%. So I don't know if that's crystal type goes up by 12 and just general damage when HP max goes up by 12 or just overall damage, whatever. There's also power of fate crystal where crystal type attack improves based on your light or shadow points. For most crystal users, it seems to be shadow points. And I think if I remember the wiki correctly, it maxed out at 15%, maybe 10%. And what else did we have? It's also dropping crystalline ore, which simply as long as you're in crystal stance, your damage goes up by 10%. Again. I'm not sure if that's all-encompassing damage or just crystal damage or what. Kind of guessing all damage. And then the other thing is I'm not really sure if it matters if it's all damage or just crystal damage. I'm, I don't know how the calculations work. We can also put on, you know, any of the old ores as well. So the question that I started thinking about, uh, in particular, where's Resonant Power Shadow? If I have the power of prism, it improves crystal type attack and damage when your health is at maximum, and your damage overall goes up by 12%. Is that going to be better than your typical three power of pains or three power of poisons? We've shown through math that the three pains or three poisons or some mixture mathematically is stronger than three of the elements. So if you had like power crystal, power crystal, power crystal versus power pain, power pain, power of pain, the pains will do more damage. So if I remove the power of agony, which is upgraded just to be a flat 35%, and if I put on that power of prism instead, and give the power of prism an upgrade of some kind, am I going to do more damage than just three flat panes? So that's going to be the question. So we are going to start. We need to get some baseline data. So let's go back to my power of pain, which should not be equipped by anyone. Is that it? Yep, 35%. Which typically, you don't throw just a dormant ore on one of these. You would give it like adversity or something else. I'm just doing this for just general purposes. So I, I don't know how reliable these tests are. Well, 
reliable, yes. Valid, no. Uh, because, you know, everyone gears their characters differently. So let's get a baseline. I chose the power of prism in part because you have to stay at max health, so you don't want to choose a character like Minalka that hurts themselves when they attack. Secondly, I want someone that can set pain. And the little lily can set pain and it's persistent. So if I just attack with Photon Messiah, the first attack will do some damage. Now that Pain is on there, the second attack should do a little more. So about 300,000 each time. Third turn, about 300,000 again. She's lost sword wielding savior state by turn four, so she should do less damage now. About 250. And one more time, around 250. So after turn one, she was doing around 300,000 each swing and then 250 each swing. And we get more silver tokens, which I have bought every single thing possible because of all these character development series. But that's okay. All right, so let us swap her Grasta. And it is not upgraded at the moment. Power of Prism. And we need to upgrade it. So I don't want to check every single possible upgrade because then that involves like stacking the team with shadow users or, you know, deploying stances and all that stuff. So I'm just going to keep it simple and upgrade, not upgraded. I'm going to do what most people have access to, which is just simply a dormant ore. So the crystal type attack will go up by 40% and her damage should go up by 10%. It'd be really nice if these were shareable. So now we have two power of pains, but instead of the third one, we are now using power of prism. So can it compensate for the lost multiplier from the third pain? All right, so turn one, we get pain down. All right, turns two and three, we saw around hits of 300,000. Oh, 340th area. 340, 340. Interesting. And now she's lost sword wielding savior state, so she's going to decrease a little bit. 280s. Instead of 250s. That's interesting. I was actually not expecting that. I figured the three power of pains would be stronger. So instead of 2.5 million, she did about 2.8 something million. Interesting. Okay, give me more silver tokens I'll never use. So now we are going to actually uh, eat some food and get that mana back. That was delicious. Now, the uh, Grasta that I use is the Gleaming Power of Pain, which not only does pain strength, but also improves crystal type attack by 20. So I'm going to put that one on and see if my usual combination, this one, by the way, you get from the Astral Archives, if you are looking to find out where you get that. But this is what I normally do. So can this beat out that other Grasta? I really hope it does, because otherwise I'm going to have to go back and rethink a lot of my uh, teams. All right, so turn one, setting pain. All right, we got pain. All right, big question. We were getting around 340,000 per hit with that new Grasta. And this one gives, ooh, 330s. Close, but not perfect. So that means this one should also do 330s. 
and we've lost sword wielding savior state, so we were doing 280 thousands. 276, 277, so a little bit lower. Okay. So close to the same amount of damage. I think the other one was what, 2.88 or 2.89? This one was 2.81. So, by actually breaking up the Pain Trinity with a non-Pain 40%, 10% boost, this one actually outperformed the Gleaming Power of Pain. That's really interesting. Uh, my mind is kind of going in about 20 different directions at the moment. And I'm trying to decide. It, I had like one of those thoughts where I'm like, oh, I want to try one more thing. And then it already has gone away. I guess one issue is that you have to be at maximum health for this one to fully benefit. So if you're not at maximum health, is this one, since it was so close to the Power of Pain one, I bet you this one will be weaker. So this one might actually be a little bit stronger as long as you can reliably stay at maximum health. That's interesting. Uh, I think this, and then of course, as I mentioned, there was a plenty of other upgrades I could. Um, hmm. Let's just go ahead and try one single upgrade. I have enough reversion ores and everything. Let me uh, heal up and I will get back to you. Okay, I have healed up and I want to try one other thing first. We swapped out the gleaming power of pain, but the rose with thorns ore and pain, I get a 15% boost no matter what, doesn't matter what my health is, and I have the pain multiplier. What if I swapped that one out with the Power of Prism? We know that the Power of Prism is slightly stronger than the Gleaming Power of Pain. Is it going to be stronger than the Rose with Thorns upgrade? Alright, same thing, Photon Messiah, set your pain. Okay, we got pain. All right, what's gonna happen here? Three twenties. All right, so that's definitely a lot weaker. Okay. So I think we can safely say the pain with Rose with Thorns is still gonna be better no matter what. Yeah, 2.7 instead of 2.8 something. Okay, let's switch that one back. Is this the right one? MP consumption, yes, okay. So let's swap over to my full crystal team now. We're gonna have crystal stance and it's going to be awakened the first three turns because I have Alma in the lineup, and then we're going to lose Crystal Stance. So what I'm thinking, and I have uh, I have all the almighty powers and power of crystals and everything. I just want to test. Do I have everything? Yes. I want to basically do the exact same test as I did originally. So compare five rounds with this and then swap out Gleaming Power for Power of Prism, upgraded with the Dormant Ore. The other three characters are just going to stand there and do auto attacks. And I have Tetra and Moak. Tetra does some attacks. Let's get rid of Tetra. Okay. Now we're going to see a lot more damage just because of all the shared Grasta and everything in the Crystal Zone. 
All right, so we're gonna set pain, and the R3 will just lunatic for now. All right, turn two. We are in an awakened crystal zone. It has pain, and they'll just do their auto attacks. Right, looks like, was that 2.5 or 25 million in damage? Probably 25 million since I can actually see some damage. All right, same thing. All right, so around 25 million if I saw those numbers correctly. All right, we are no longer in Awakened Zone. She is no longer sword wielding, so the damage will definitely be less. Seventy-six and seventy-seven were the numbers I saw. And... Seven hundred sixty thousand again, give or take. All right, so we did 130 million damage. All right, so if we swap out Gleaming for Power of Prism, improving crystal type attack and damage when HP is maximum, only used a dormant ore. Let's see, do I have enough mana to, probably need to eat. She goes through mana pretty, okay. That was delicious. All right, 130 million with my usual setup. With this one, breaking the pain trinity. And doing the exact same thing as before. Now, I would think, since when she was by herself, the damage was higher, I would think that with a full team, her damage is also going to be higher. Two th 23 million or something like that. That seemed a little lower than before. Now we'll see the overall damage. Alright, Photon. That was definitely lower as well. well. That's weird. Why would it be higher when she's by herself, but lower when she's with her party? So I don't think we hit the 130 million mark. We got 119 million. That's a little strange. Equip. Yeah, it's all the same gear as before. That's really strange. Why would she do less damage when by herself she was doing more damage? with this setup. I guess just to be on, let's see, sidekicks, empty. Pretty sure we didn't have any sidekicks in the first test. Nope, no sidekicks there either. All right. I guess really quick, I'm gonna retest. If you want to skip this part of the video, feel free. All right, this is New Grasta. Three upper three thirties and three forties. Two eighties area. Two eighties area. Two point eight eight million in damage. Uh, 
All right, so we are double checking our initial thoughts. And we are going to put back on the gleaming power of pain. All right, so that's her original setup. With the new Grasta, she did 2.88 with Gleaming Power of Pain. She is going to do less damage. Very visible, lower 300s, or 330s, I mean, and now middle 270s. Yep, and so 2.88, she did 2.80. Okay, so twice now, with Gleaming Power of Pain, she has done less damage than with the new Grasta. So I guess let's double check with the team. So this is with Gleaming Power of Pain, her I usual setup. Though mm, all lunatic, show Photon Messiah. Awakened Crystal Zone. And a bunch of shared Grasta. Okay, I saw a 16 million hit, I think. Twenty fives again. Fives. She's at full health. Nothing's causing her to reduce her health. Seventy sixes and seventy sevens. And last turn. One twenty nine seven. It's so about a hundred and thirty million. All right, so let's double check. Swap out gleaming. Oh, I can't wait. There it is. All right, so again, this combination did better when she was by herself. So, but it seemed to do worse when she was with the team, which doesn't make much sense to me. The only other thing I can think of is that that Enhance if Max HP does not stack with the other Enhance if Max HP ores which might actually be the case. So... Can she break 130 million? No, so 25s. I saw 23s. Keep going. Yeah, this is still definitely lower. Well, if that is the case, that would be good to know.
Yep, once again, 119. So better by herself, worse with the team. And the only thing I can think of offhand, which, which we can test, let's see who's holding it. All right, so Melissa has an Enhance if Max HP Crystal, which is shared. Improves damage by 10% for anyone, for Crystal users at max health. And Power of Prism damage is increased by 10% when you're at max health. It's possible this part does not stack with the other one, so this one's basically being nullified, which basically means if that's the case, then the power of Prism, if you have someone else equipped with that Grasta, is basically only doing a 40% crystal type attack. We're just going to take off this one and remove it. If the effects are canceling each other out, we should see the same damage of around the 119 million. Uh, how's my uh, mana? Oh yeah, I can go again. So if they don't stack with each other, we should see about the same amount of damage, which is about 119 million. a little bit lower. Twenty ones and twenty twos. Yep, that is definitely lower. So I guess they do stack. All right, let's wrap this up. All right, so it should be a little less than 119. 114. Okay. All right, so I guess they do stack. So that is one good thing to know. Let's go ahead and put that back on her. Enhance if max HP crystal, yes. All right, so the other possibility I was thinking about was if somehow we've maxed out whatever multipliers involved with crystal type attacks. So instead of all 40%, maybe it's reaching 30% or I don't know, whatever. So I'm not too good with the math. Well, actually I'm really good with math. I just don't really care to sit down and crunch numbers for hours on end. I just like to look at end results and whatever combination works best, that's what I go with. So, it's a game. Have fun. Alright, let's take a look at the other things. Resonant Power Shadow, Sound Body. I don't think any of those would matter. That's tank stuff. Almighty Power are all type attacks. Type attack, type attack, type attack. Enhance if max HP sword. 30% more for sword users. And power of crystal sword type attacks. Well, that's weird. Okay. Well, I'm not quite sure why power of prism is better when she's by herself and power of prism is worse when she's with a team. 
Maybe that can be for someone else to figure out. But there is one additional thing I wanted to try. So let's go back and reconfirm our baseline with a gleaming power of pain. All right, um, mana needs mana. And we're out of food, so one moment. All right, the last thing I wanted to try was getting our baseline again. This combination should give us around 130 million damage if it's anything like the previous two times. And then what we're gonna do we're going to swap this out for the new Grasta, the Power of Prism, but instead of using a Dormant Ore, we're going to revert, and we're going to put on the Resonant Power Shadow, which supposedly ups all damage by 12% since I am in a full Shadow team. So, first things first, let's reconfirm our baseline. Alright, Awakened Crystal Zone. And they're all going to lunatic. We have our pain. There's our 25 million hits. That's about what we saw before. last of the 25 million hits. We're going to lose sword-wielding savior state. That was about what we saw before, so we should be pretty close to 130 million total damage. And we are at 130 million damage. All right. So, we collect our silver tokens. All right. Let us revert the power of prism. This will knock it from 40 back to 30%. And now, let's upgrade it. Scroll down, okay. And Resonant Power Shadow should improve damage by 12%. Instead of Crystal type attack going up by 10, this to me implies either from 10 to 12%, there should be a slight increase, or this might be overall damage, 12%. So the people who are watching this that understand the math better for another Eden damage calculations, uh, please, by all means, um, let me know. I don't think Power Fate Crystal Ore is gonna be better because her shadow is only, I think, what, 96? And crystalline damage, as long as I'm in crystal stance, is 10%. And as you saw, I, it wore off crystal zone by turn four on the dummy, so I have to keep reapplying it. So I think the only consistent one is going to be this resonant power shadow or upgrade. So. So we're going to replace the Gleaming Power of Pain. Oh wait, come on. Crystal. With the Power of Prism, this time with an extra 12% damage boost. However, with a re reduced 10% crystal type attack. My personal prediction, I think the Gleaming Power of Pain is still going to be higher. But I... Because especially Power of Prism with the Dormant Ore was lower. 
So I don't think this is going to make that much of a difference. Uh, and then shadow user, shadow user, shadow user, shadow users. There's your four shadow users. I even have a fifth one in reserves, but I do have one light user in reserves. So I'm assuming I'm at the max 12% because my entire front line is shadow. Let's see what the difference is. Are we going to go above or below 130 million? My prediction is still below, but I think it might be close. Alright, Photon, all lunatics. Twenty threes, so it is a little lower than the twenty fives. We'll go ahead and wrap this up really quick. So we're probably around 120 million, I'm thinking, with this one. 124, so a little bit less than 130. Looking over Thalilili's skills, I do notice one possible explanation. Photon Messiah and the other Photon series, their attacks get stronger while she's in sword-wielding savior state based on how many shadow allies there are in the front line. So knowing this, I could just stick a random three shadow allies and compare one more time. So why don't we do that now? All right, baseline data. We have Gleaming Power of Pain, which is my usual setup. And we have three shadow allies in the front. Photon, and they'll just attack. Okay, there's our pain. Looks like about 50 million a or 5 million a swing. I think that was a 5. We're no longer in sword wielding savior state, which means her damage is going to decrease tremendously. Yep, 277 and 276,000. So grand total. Twenty six million. All right, and then Grasta upgrade, upgrade crystal. Scroll past Dormandor. And now let's equip it. Crystal, Power of Prism. All right, so we're breaking up the pain combination and we are putting on the Power of Prism. So two pains and then Power of Prism. And we still have our shadow allies in the front and no sidekicks. So is it better or worse than around 26 million? Fifty million again. 
or was it five million? I think five million. Yes, five million again. All right, sword wielding savior state is over. Two eighties. So it looks pretty comparable, actually. Twenty six eight. So it still did a little bit better. That's so weird. Each time it's been relatively equal or extremely comparable. Whether I had three shadow allies or all by herself. But the second I switched over to my super boss team, the power of prism did way worse. Not way worse, but it did worse. So, general conclusions. And I realize that this is a very small sample as well. Okay, first, anyone who's watching this who actually has gotten to this point or skipped ahead to this point, if you want to look at my methods, if I'm doing something wrong, please feel free to mention it in the comments below. I don't mind continuing to test further. But the main test was, could I finally stop using three power of pains? Can I finally start branching out and using more? Well, three power of pains by with, if Thalili is by herself, three power of pains is actually weaker than the power of prism with the dormant ore increase. So when it was at 40% crystal type attack, and that stayed the same. So Power of Prism was better when she was by herself. Now, in a real situation, she's pretty much never by herself. And no matter what I did, the Gleaming Power of Pain, when she was with a full team, the Gleaming Power of Pain was still stronger than the Power of Prism with the Dormant War upgrade and the Power of Prism with the damage per shadow ally upgrade. So neither upgrade was able to outperform the gleaming power of pain with a dormant ore. So the ultimate conclusion is in the newest dungeon, I, where did power prism go? I do not see any reason to buy any of the new Grasta. There's no situation I've been able to create, and I do realize I have not tried every single scenario, every single Grasta upgrade combination possible, but just at a very casual glance, I don't see any reason to buy any of the power of elements in the newest dungeon. The combinations that I've tried at least all seem to be weaker than simply just slapping on a power of pain or a gleaming power of pain. If it's just regular power of pain, the damage was comparable, but power of pains you can get in Antiquity Garulia Dungeon. You know, we could have gotten that back in chapter 60 something. So, you know, we don't need to wait all the way till like uh, being in the 100s chapters to upgrade. The stuff that worked back in chapter 60 something still seems to work today. And then the gleaming power of pain not only improves pain, but improves crystal type attack from Astral Archives. If this is your combination, stick with it. The new Grasta that you can buy in Jasmine, don't bother. It won't help, uh, at least in the few tests that I have done. So that's my general conclusion. Don't waste your bloom seeds on the new Grasta. They will not improve your damage significantly. Um, and as I said, if you all have other combinations you want me to try, that's fine, but I just don't see any reason to break up the, the holy pain or poison trinity combo for the DPSers. So, I hope this helps. Casual Chrono, signing out.